turned back uh, the doubters and proved the people wrong. He uh, moved up to Mount 47. A lot of people felt he was dumb. He proved them wrong. He went to the Ukraine. Everybody thought he was crazy. He's never going to win. He proved them wrong. And now here on Saturday night, he wants to prove all of those people who think that it's going to be a walk in the park for Aiden Broder. He's going to want to prove them wrong as well. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you the current WBA welterweight and two division world champion, Paulie the Magic Man, Paulie Nash. I'm gonna, I'm gonna calm the squad to justice stuff right now, just because there's a lot of idiots in the media as well um, asking me a lot of stupid questions. Jessica, anybody that dated me, like how long did you say we dated? How long did you say we dated? Six, seven months, right? Yeah, um, what's, so anybody who dates me that long, I don't know how familiar people are with relationships out here. Anybody who dates you that long, you probably meet some family members, maybe you meet my mom or something. What's my mother's name, Jessica? What's my mother's name? What's my, what's my mother's name? I see my mom often. What's my mother's name though? Answer the question. I don't know if I'm rich or not. You can say what he wants, I say whatever. What's my mother's name? Thank you. Okay, folks, stop calling this girl my ex-girlfriend. She was somebody I slept with. That was it, okay? Especially you, Mitch. You wrote a whole lot of it. You wasted 15 minutes of my time the other day. And wrote an article that made no sense. All right? Let's put this thing behind me now. All right? This is somebody I slept with. Athletes sleep with a lot of women. It's 2013. That's what we do. All right, let's get to, uh, get to the point now. You're a clown, the mic's off. You got a job. Clown, clown, clown. The mic's off now. Stop okay. you, you got a job. Clown, clown, you got a job. Clown, stop, stop, stop talking. Clown, stop talking. Clown, stop talking. Wrangler Brothers is coming over next week. You can join them after this, all right? Stop talking, you're a clown. All right, thank you, it's my time now. All right, let's talk about the fight now. Um, yeah, it's gotten out of hand. It's gotten a little bit uh, crazy and stuff. Uh, we'll admit that. Um, but, you know, I could say, I could take some of the blame, but I can't take all the blame, I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, could, I could only apologize for my end, but at the end of the day, it seems like this guy is, this is how, this is how they, this is how basically the creation of Asian Brona happened, in my opinion, you know? Uh, they got everybody that's wrong with boxing together in one room, did everything that's wrong with boxing in that room, and gave birth to Adrian Brona. That's what's going on right now, you know what I mean? And you people are eating it up. There's not much intelligence out there. Mr. Andrew Williams said, if I, if I, I'm gonna admit that he's a good fighter on Saturday night. I'll admit he's a talented fighter now. I don't have to admit anything on Saturday night. I admit he's a talented fighter now. But this is a lot more than talent that, gets, that it takes it to get to the top. I've seen, I've been in gyms, so many gyms across the country, across the world. You see talented fighters that don't make it all the time. They're just hanging out in little gyms, working out. They just don't get those breaks. So it ain't about talent. It's a, a little bit of the package, it's talent. He's got that power, that part of the package, I'm not lying to you. What I'm saying is he don't have the rest of the package. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about, shut up. Nobody hears you anyway, shut up. Gosh, yeah, shut up. You, you're talking to yourself, dude. Nobody hears you. Damn. The clown is so retarded. Anyway. Let's, 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 yeah, let's keep it. Should we do that? Let's keep it. Yeah, keep your pressure. Wipe your teeth, you got some shit in there. Hey, keep your pressure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know. Not between the diamonds. Floss them, floss them, floss them, floss them. Yeah, floss them. Yeah, I got some too. Yeah, I know. You're talking to somebody that made money. You're not talking to the chumps that you've been fighting. You want to work at the grocery store to make money. I know. Now you're talking you find somebody that made money in their career. I know. I know. I know what diamonds are. Um, uh, let me get back to my training thought, man. It's clowns. Taking my training thought over here. <laughs> anyway. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, let's keep it fresh. You're gonna keep talking? Did anybody else notice he was here like a half hour before the press conference started and he pretended he was late? Did anybody else notice that? Because I had people calling me like, yo, Ron is here. And you know how I know they weren't lying to me? Because they didn't think he was wearing So then he shows up an hour into the press conference like he showed up late. He's trying to show a fashion to be late. Stop trying so hard, bro. Just, just do what you gotta do. Stop trying so hard. Because people see right through you. You're a clown. And stop with the Floyd stuff. Damn, man. Again, you stutter like Floyd. Again, just talk like yourself. It's okay. It's all right. It's, it's gonna be all right. If you show people who Adrian Broner is, they might like it. They might. It's got nothing to do with stuttering like Floyd. I say it to me. I say it to me. I'll talk about what I want, dude. You know why? Because I'm a million dollar fighter. So I come up here, I can say what I want, and I talk how I want. That's why you're out there listening to me, and I'm gonna say what I wanna say. That's that. 
Exactly. That's why you have to get it. Exactly. All right. Mr. Schaefer talked about detours. Let's talk about back on the fight. Let's, let's listen to the clown here. Let's talk about the Mr. Schaefer talked about detours. Talking about how some fighters got to take detours and some fighters don't end up on detours. Well, it all depends on the matchmaking. It all depends on who's got your back. Mr. Al Heyman is taking good care of Adrian Broner. And that's why he's where he is right now. There's a lot more talented fighters in boxing than Adrian Broner that don't get the credit they deserve. It's not saying that he's not talented. I'm just saying Al Heyman is responsible for this, for this creation right here. Okay, there's detours. Okay, there's detours that he hasn't had to take. Okay, I was a talented prospect at one time too. You know what I was rewarded with my first title fight? Miguel Cotto. You know what his reward was for his first title fight? Some guy Rodriguez, why can't you remember his first name? Okay? There's a difference. There's, we end up on detours because of the match, because of the people that got off backs, okay? He's got to thank Al Heyman. Instead of praying to God every night, he's praying to Al Heyman every night to make him the creation he is. This guy is nothing. This guy is nothing. On Saturday night, I'm going to prove to you how, much, how nothing he is. Nothing but talent. We get to the late rounds. You remember in that locker room at Wild Card Gym a couple of years ago when you were getting ready to fight Ponce? And we was in the locker room and you was all nervous about going the distance. You think I forgot that conversation you had with me? You think I forgot that conversation you had with me? Hey, Polly, how you go all them rounds, man? I, 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 I never been 10 rounds. You know, and, 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 and you know, the fight is decided. How you, how, you, how you go 10 rounds? And I had to explain to him how, how it is you go 10 rounds without mentally killing yourself. And then, and, and then shut up, shut up. I'm talking, shut up. punches for 10 rounds. And thanks to Al he gets the decision. My man, you go 12 Saturday. I'm gonna beat your ass. Fight's been this, uh, John Banks, Seth Mitchell, like this. Steve. 